And I don't have the music this time because no I got my phone. music. <laughs> Sylvia Rodriguez and Jennifer Omiko. Thank you for watching and it's time for Ms. Rocky and Teresa North and Lost. You know what time it is. Boom <laughs> shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whoop, 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 whoop. All right. No music, but we're still live anyway. That's How right. do you like that? That's right. That's live right. as can be. Right. You have to watch what you say when you're live and all that good stuff. Hot mic type hot of situation. Mic, That's right. That. Welcome, yeah. welcome, welcome to the Boom Shakalaka. And you yes. know what time it is. That's right. All right. I'm Rocky. And I'm Shaviva. And this, this is, is North End, End Update. Update. You made it. Okay. We want to shout out to our special frequent viewers, the ones that watch us all the time, Shaviva. Mm -hmm. Like Joel Elliott, yes. Mary Thomas, Scott Kowelty and Lisa Ambrose. Lorenzo Creighton, Sean Taylor, Judy Ireland, and Levi Smith. Thank you so much for watching. Today we're going to have special guest Jennifer Onibo from uh, Gallagher Blue Dorn Performing Arts Center and Nilvia Reyes Rodriguez, who's doing uh, talking about this fiesta. That's right, a celebration of Latino culture at the Waterloo Center for the Arts. Yeah, so stay tuned. We're gonna meet those guys in just a minute, but first we wanna congratulate our last, congratulate our last week's prize drawings. Okay. And yes. who are they, the winners? Congratulations, Audrey Wallach and Green. Right. She won a $50 gift certificate for Toddler, Toddler Town. Town. That place has to be just jumping. Yeah, and you know what? Don't let the name fool you. Toddler Town, apparently it's more than just for toddlers. I mean, there's some great stuff going on that, that adults would love to be involved with. Um, there's naming, uh, you know, baby gender, gender reveal, Right, yeah, you know. gender reveal parties. And um, Audrey shared with me that they're having a party just for their, uh, like a girl party, mm -hmm. her daughters, granddaughters, her mother, and I think she's gonna have a special something made for that occasion. Mm -hmm. So Judita does all that decorating and it's such a beautiful place. So we love supporting our local businesses and that yes. was one of them. Congratulations to Audrey Wallican. Mm -hmm. It's July and in July we'll be featuring a family membership for a drawing in our drawing for the Grout Museum and that includes the Imaginarium. Oh yeah, that's awesome. The Imaginarium, the Planetarium, the um, Veterans Museum, Black Stories Collective, all that great stuff. Yes, and we just want to take a minute because guess what, sometimes we don't slow down enough mm -hmm. to thank our viewers for making us the best show on the internet. That's Seriously. Right. <laughs> How? That's right. We would have never made it without you. Yep. So, you know, we're the podcast you can see, Shaviva. Mm -hmm. And we know that it's the media's job to tell you about all the yucky things that are going on, the bad things or whatever. But when you come here, you're going to hear about the good stuff because we got plenty of it to share. That's yeah. right. A lot of it right here in our community. And we hope you're listening so you can know more about it. Okay. And with our give it air today, I guess we're going to go ahead and turn Shaviva loose about oh, affirmative action. That's right. We're going to be talking about affirmative action. And our talking point is don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Because winning is pretty cool. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. Yeah. All right. We are looking for an intern. Last thing before we introduce our guests, because we need somebody to read um, the comments. We got Ed just running around doing everything for us. Thank you, That's Ed. That's right. We appreciate him. But Yes. We do need an intern, somebody that can come in and learn about media here at City Hall Studios and you know, read our comments. Yes, all that yes. good stuff. Listen yeah. to Agnes while she tells jokes. Right. Right? Okay. Okay. All right, news flash, folks. News um, flash! Be sure to stick around for the birthday people to hear your shout out and song near the end of the show. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how would you like us okay. to support your small business and help get your word out, um, even give away merchandise in our prize drawings. That's right, and highlighting your business as one of the great things that are going on in our community all at the same time. Yes, that's yeah. what we do. So please email us, 
at northendupdate at gmail.com if you would like that to happen for your business. Mm -hmm. Okay. Isn't it about time for us to introduce <laughs> our guests? Well, yes, and then we can share the breaking news with them. Oh, we have, okay. Yes. Let's okay. open up the camera. We have Jennifer and Nilvia. Did I say it right? Yes. yes. I did? Yes. It's just like <laughs> Sylvia, but with a See, that's oh, the same thing I was thinking. See, <laughs> it's so helpful when you do share things like yep. that. So, Nilvia, thank you. Beautiful name. Thank you. Beautiful lady. And welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. Yes, yes. So we have breaking news today, and you'll never guess what it is. It's something that's happening right now in our community. Breaking news is there's Friday Lou okay. right now going on, or All they're right. getting ready for it. And then across the bridge in the public square, Shaviva. Oh, that's right. The Summer Soul Classic Meet and Greet is going on. Yes. It's going to be happening at 5 o'clock, right? Yes, yeah. yes. So we just wanted to let you know, I mean, it's hot off the press. You're not too late. you got plenty of time to go there, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Yeah. see, okay. there's the information for you right there on the screen. Summer Soul Classic. Right. There's going to be a um, drum line, um, mm. a drill team competition. There's going to be uh, vendors. Food, lots of food. food. That's what all I'm kinds going of for. good stuff. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> indeed. So get over there. Get downtown. It's happening mm -hmm. in Waterloo tonight. Okay, we have chatted up a storm here. <laughs> so we're going to talk to you guys about what we usually do is have a talking point. And just something that we can all kind of identify with and just kind of loosen up a little bit, you know. So what's our talking point, Sh point Shavita? Our talking point is don't let the fear of losing be greater than the excitement of winning. Hmm. Now, see, yeah. we're going to throw that to you. Who, who's going to catch it first? You. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you first said it, I right away think about just this sort of imposter syndrome that we sometimes carry around with us that, that you're, I'm always afraid of if I'm not good enough if I'm not you know meeting all of these metrics or expectations or whatnot but I'm not really taking the time to appreciate where I'm at how far I've made it and everything that I've accomplished so far and so that's just the first thing that popped to my mind when you said that Wow. Yeah. yeah, you yes. know, we just I just read the quote again from Maya Angelou, and she said that um, overcoming is always fascinating because we often fail to realize all the stuff we had to overcome just to sit here right now today. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know, when you yeah. think back of when you were sick or you lost a loved one, and those things that we have to overcome. Um, are pretty significant, right. you know, to yeah. get us to sit right here today. So that's what that made me sure. think of. Yeah. How about you, Chevy? Um, what do you think about that? That, that um, saying, um, the fear of losing being greater than the excitement of winning, um, that reminds me of another old saying, um, no guts, no glory. Mm. I don't know mm. if you ever heard that. You have to just, mm. just, if you want to see all of those reap those benefits or whatever or get that glory you have to just dive on in and yeah go right, for it right right so, yeah it's like going through labor pains and leaving the baby at the hospital <laughs> <laughs> not a good idea nobody <laughs> wants to do that what do you think jennifer do you have anything you want to add yeah i mean i i very much my mind went to what Nilvia was saying as well, the imposter syndrome. I know in my role, I've only been in my role about 15 months, and it was a stretch really? a stretch for me. I wasn't in the performing arts or anything before that, and I, um, I applied, and I got the job, and I was I was afraid, you know, when oh, I first started, sure. and then it's just the more you do it, the, the easier it becomes. So I did have a, a very um, distinct fear of losing or mm. or not being good at it and so you know you just keep trying and you just do your best and follow your gut instinct and yeah. wow yeah. So i would have never is, known thank that. you the same thing i would have never known that because um when i see you i see somebody really engaged mm -hmm. in in the arts and you know like that's what you do. Yeah. So, so oh, you've thank you. definitely done a great job. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I think, I don't know how much you work with Steve, but we were sitting together at a meeting recently, and he's a great person to kind of be around if he's been at it for quite a while. Oh, he has. Yeah. Yes. He's been executive director for a long time. So, yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. good. We hope that you guys have kind of followed along with us, and maybe you have a comment, or you can do it later on while you're sitting back 
scrolling and check us out. So thank you for participating in that question. Now we're going to give something some air. And for those of you that don't know, Shaviva, our give it air is sometimes about things that are hard to talk about. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. But there, it's always something that could use a little bit of exposure because maybe it's something that people didn't think about or maybe they don't even want to think about. But you got about to think about it today. Now, today. Right now. But I okay. want to include that our Give It Air is brought to you by Gallagher Blue Dorm Performing Arts Center, your center for the arts. All right. Okay, now... Um, as some of you may know, the June 29th Supreme Court decision on affirmative action um, basically effectively is supposed to end race conscious um, admissions practices in higher education, right? And that decision is most likely going to result in declines in racial diversity at different public and private institutions, um, which means that some of the most talented um, students of color are going to have to pursue their post-secondary education somewhere else, more than likely a um, HBCU, Historically Black College or University, okay? And when you think about that, that's sort of a conundrum because the reason why HBCUs were created in the first place was because there was not access. Sure, isn't that, you know, yeah, it's kind of a... Yeah, okay. Now, while it also might seem that uh, it, it, it seems now that race-conscious race admissions practices are going to be challenged. They're going to be put to the test and struck down across the board because if it's not without regard to race, that includes things that favor the majority, that, that favor white students. Okay, within days of that Supreme Court decision, federal complaints were filed by the lawyers for civil rights organization challenging legacy admissions. Everybody's heard of those, right? Or most people. Well, um, legacy admission, that is something that it's, it's what, when somebody has gone to that college before and that gives their child a, a heads up or something? Yes. I okay. mean, there's preference given and there can't be preference given to a lot of students of color for the simple fact that they were not... Legacy. They're, that's right. They're, they didn't get quote unquote grandfathered in because they weren't allowed to go in the first place. Okay. Okay. So um, the complaint argues that the practice of giving admissions preference to the family members of alumni discriminates against students of color and basically amounts to rewarding white students for the privilege acquired by you know, prior generations. Mm. And so this could end up being a preview of how legacy admissions are gonna be challenged as a race conscious admission practice that's going to be eliminated in the same way the Supreme Court so oh, fit to eliminate affirmative, affirmative action. action. Wow. So. Okay. Well, I never really thought about it that way. I kind of thought about how, what about scholarships for athletic ability and stuff like that? Is that going to be, That's, you know? It'll, all of this is going to be interesting to see how this, how this shakes out. Right. Well, yeah. thank you, Shaviva. I know you did a um, good job researching, and I thought that was a great uh, segment there to talk and learn about some of the things that from a new perspective so if you have a comment please chime in we'll be checking our comments oh Ed's got comments well Amy Cass has been very busy she's oh, uh, yes. provided a lot of links to everything going on that you guys have talked about but thank she also just you, provided you, a link with an article about the June 29th Supreme Court hearing Wow, we um, love Amy. So that's Amy Cass, so and then Velveeta Robertson just says, Evening, ladies. Oh, hey, hey, we Velveeta. love you, Velveeta. Thank you. All right, and like we like to say, that just we just had to give that a little air. We don't expect you guys to comment on it. We just like to give it a little air, right, Shaviva? Yep. But you are certainly welcome to, if you have anything that you'd like to say sure. about it, or we can just get to what we want to talk to you ladies about today. Anyway, because sometimes giving it air is the best disinfectant. That's right. <laughs> That's <laughs> what's right. right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so let's talk to Nilvia. Talk to us. Shaviva, what do you have a question for her? Well, um, well basically, um, welcome. This is my first time meeting you. And yes. so um, there, I'm sure there are other people who may have absolutely no idea what you do mm -hmm. with the Waterloo Center for the Arts. So tell us a little bit about you and, yeah. and your role. 
Yeah, so I actually don't work for the Center for the Arts, but I'm on the planning committee for the Latino Festival. Uh, oh. I work for Cedar Valley United Way, oh. which is right next door to the Center for the Arts, so it's pretty convenient. Um, and at Cedar Valley United Way, I'm the director of community impact and engagement there. Um, so do a lot of the grant management and also just uh, really what we're focused on right now is engaging the community voices on our processes and our impact. Um, but again, that's the uh, day job. Um, I've been on the planning committee for the Latino Festival for about five years now um, and just really loved how much growth we've had. I think we were gearing up like 2018, 2019. I think 2020 was going to be a great year, mm. uh, but then, but you know, then, yeah, everything know. slowed down. Yeah. Um, so we lost quite a bit of momentum, I think, and I'm so excited that this year we've finally gotten back up there and we've really uh, ramped up our marketing and um, everything for this event. So it's, um, we're bringing Parranderos Latin Combo, which is phenomenal. Oh. Um, I'm a little biased because okay. it's my uh, my brother-in-law. Uh, he's a band member, and but they truly are phenomenal. Um, oh, I'm sure they are. Yeah, we've got <laughs> musicians from all over Latin America, like Colombia, Puerto Rico, um, Ecuador, mm. um, some native Iowans on there as well. Um, so it's just a really it's fun going to, group. it sounds like it's going to be a blast talk mm -hmm. about the where it is and yeah. and what time what time yes. is it going to start it is at the amphitheater the Riverloop amphitheater right behind the Waterloo Center for the Arts um, by the splash pad uh, it's July Saturday July 15th starting at 3 30 um, admission is free, it's open to the public, and we really want to get as many people to show up as we can. Free admission? Yeah. Now, right. will there be vendors? There usually are at the Absolutely. Yes. We're going to have four different vendors um, selling different Latin American cuisines, <gasps> um, as well as like desserts. So we're going to have Amor Home Bakery, um, or Con Amor Home Bakery. Estela's Foods, Zuri's Cuisine, and Antojitos Guadalajara. So, oh, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. That sounds great. Yeah. Well, it sounds like it's going to be quite the occasion. Fiesta. Yeah. You say it. Fiesta. Oh. Um, <laughs> and I, there's, yeah, dan there's going to be dancers and bouncy houses, crafts, kids' activities. So kids, yeah. yeah. Just a, a big family. Family. Event. 100%. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you, Nilvia, for bringing that news. And we'd probably like to connect with you a lot more and find out more things that are going on. Yeah. Yeah, in the sure. Spanish communities. Yes. Yes, okay. yes. Well, thank you so much. And I'm going to talk to Jennifer now. Hi, Jennifer. Hello. <laughs> yes, talk to us about what you want everyone to know. And by the way, thank you for joining us in the collaboration of North End Update and Gallagher Blue Dorm to yeah. get more words out about your great uh, performing arts center. Well, we're excited to be partners. Um, you are doing remarkable things, lifting up the great things that are happening in the community. We see them, we have guests who come in and say, I didn't know that was happening in Waterloo. And so we just wanna help amplify that. So we're really excited to be a part of it. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, some things going on. Uh, North End Fest, we are actually providing the stage and the sound support as part of our block party series tomorrow. So we're going to be there um, uh, from 1130 until 5 o'clock, helping out with the, the different bands that are coming in. There's a whole lineup that uh, that committee has formed, and it's going to be really outstanding. So we're excited to help support that. Um, Block parties, speaking of those, we have a couple more that are happening in Waterloo in, in uh, July and August. So we will definitely stop back again and talk about those a little bit more. Um, so I just I just think it's great. I'm sorry to interrupt oh, no, you, but no, I just fine. think it's great that they're all the way in Cedar Falls. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. And they bring in they're bringing trailers and block, you know, supporting the North End Art Fest and you know block parties Sound in Waterloo. Things that are going I on here. Yes, it. that is awesome. Yeah, 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 it's part of our mission. I mean, we want to make sure that the performing arts are accessible to everyone. And we know that um, sometimes location can be a barrier to people. They don't want to drive to Cedar Falls. So you know what? Mm. We'll bring the party to them. So. Yes, that, Great. Yeah, well, so, great. Yeah. That's a great um, 
thing that you guys are doing. Well, thank reaching you. Reaching out and, and part of your mission, making it part of your mission is important because, you know, mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that wouldn't or won't, you know, right. share in, in community events like that. So yeah. we're seeing that more in Waterloo, too. Yeah. So yeah. I just love it. Okay, go on. Um, yeah, yeah. So um, I did want to kind of lift up our next block party that's in Waterloo. It will be at the Walnut in the Walnut neighborhood, right there next ah. to the Boys and Girls Club by East High, and it'll be on a National Night Out on August 1st, and so um, Hart Smith will be performing, and it's going to be a whole big party right there on that corner, oh. so um, they'll have food and um, other entertainment, and it'll be really fun, so yeah, that'll be a great one. So, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I, I know, um, skipping ahead just a little bit, I know throughout the year there's going to be a lot of great artists that are going to be performing there. at the Gallery of Blue Dorn. And, yeah. you know, just, if you could tease just a little yeah, bit do you know about yeah. some yeah, of the, the Oh, absolutely. Artists. We just released our season, so their tickets are on sale now. So we have comedians like... Uh, Kevin James, who is Paul Blart Mall Cop, if people okay. know him. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, he's you in know a lot him. Of movies. He's going to start off our season on September 22nd. Uh, we have a couple comedians. We have some Broadway shows coming in. We've got some um, instrumental groups coming in. Um, one that I'm really excited about is actually a local collaboration that we're doing. It's a Christmas concert, and Ooh. it's going to be with Bel Canto in Cedar Valley, and which is a choral group, uh, the Cedar Falls High School Choir, and then a, a gospel choir that we're putting together with the Jesse Cosby Center. Ooh, wow. So it'll be all They've three always. different styles of music coming together, um, singing separately, singing together. Mm. So it'll really, the spirit of the season. So. Oh, that will be beautiful. Yeah. Those Jesse Cosby, the senior group, you know have always had a beautiful yeah. choir. I don't know if it's that if that's the one, but you know, some, yeah. there there are a lot of other singers too. There's an all citywide choir, I think, that remember Walt Cunningham came and did yes. oh, something right, too. Right. So, yeah, yeah, well it's just great. And um and how can people access tickets or find out more information? Yeah, all of our information is available on GBP sorry, G B P A C dot com. <laughs> Uh, you can go on there, you can look at all the information about the shows, get the dates, the ticket prices are on there, um, and then you can just hit order and you can order online. Also, our box office is open um, because the, our building is under construction. Our box office oh. is at the Strayer Wood Theater on campus, um, but if you prefer that personal touch, that's an option as well. Great. Yeah. Well, you know, there's so much that we don't know about Gallagher Blue Dorn, and I'm glad that we're connected now so yeah. we can get more word out that people need to know about that organization and, and the good things that you're doing for the community. I learned about Kaleidoscope, something for kids, yeah, and yep. hopefully next time you can talk a little bit about that and yeah, how that's to. going and just everything that you're doing. Thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Thank and you. you know, you've only been 15 months, you sound, it feels like she's you know, part yeah, of I've been in that position for yeah. quite some time. Yeah, <laughs> well, thank <Right>. you. <laughs> right. Thank you. Okay, well, you know, I think we're at the point now where we get to sing. Yeah, we do get to sing. But mm -hmm. wait else. What else we got, Shaviva? Well, um, <laughs> that's pretty much that's next. Yeah. Let's well, see. We greet our birthday people, you know, the best birthday people ever. But I wanted to ask each of these what is the best thing about your job? We'll ah, start with you. Sure. What do you think mm -hmm. about? What's the best thing? And, and you work for United Way. Mm -hmm. So what do you like? Isn't that quite a helpful? Yeah, so th the thing that I love the most is that I am very much a product of all of the different organizations and programs that we fund. Uh, so if you think about the Boys and Girls Club, the YWCA, the Salvation Army, People's Clinic, like all of these different organizations in town that are providing social services for the community, if it wasn't for programs like these, mm -hmm. I, I, I wouldn't be where I am today, right? right? And so the fact that my life has come full circle in a way that I, you know, I used to be that kid that accessed the Isn't free that dental clinic and sure. things and okay. Salvation Army meals and all of that. And now I'm on the flip side of it, helping to guide these funding decisions and, and keep funneling and supporting uh, these organizations that that is beyond rewarding exactly yeah. and you know how it feels mm -hmm. you know to to be that person that they right. are now so it's so great that's wonderful thank you yeah. Shabib, what do you like about your job just kidding uh, yeah i was gonna say you were gonna really make me say that I'm she no was gonna make up it. something that's what, yeah, that's what i like yeah <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, tell us what you like, because you've only been at it not long, yeah. so what's the best thing um, about it's your job? Yeah, I think it's definitely seeing the power of the performing arts 
the power that it has to bring people together. I mean, I'm thinking of Fiesta, just mm. the, you can bring different people in the community together. Um, all of our events are just so community focused and I love the power that music, dance, all of those oh. have to tell a story and to, to just, we do have a common language. We're not as different as we may think we are. So Say um, that, yeah, that's yeah. the truth. <laughs> yes, and we have comments, Ed? Yeah. Shelly Offord says, hi, ladies. Hey, hi, Shelly. Amy Cass girl. had a couple more with information about the North End Fest oh, and the, uh, provided a link for the Gallagher Blue Dorm Performing Arts Center. Awesome. Um, Claire Rose said, hey, Queens. Hey, hey. hi there. Doug Marshall says, another great show, ladies. Thank you for spreading the love. Thank you, Doug. And Janet Zilk. Yes, mm -hmm. says, July birthdays. Hope your day is special, filled with fun and love. All, All right. right. Well, bless everyone. you, Janet. Yeah. You know, she comments quite often, and mm -hmm. we really appreciate your viewership, uh, Janet. She's really a regular. Mm -hmm. And we're going to sing happy birthday, too, in just a second. But we got to tell them what we like about our job. This job? Yeah, right. being the best show on the Internet. Oh, all. that job. Yeah. Okay. How do you like it? I, I think it's great. I um, I it, there's so what can I say? We're not going to take a whole half hour for me to tell what I love about this. But what I do like is meeting so many different mm. people, finding out what they do, um, seeing those things that that I already know to be true as far as how many great things that are going on in the community. Being able to present that yeah. to people and have them know, oh, I didn't know that. You know, and finding out a little bit more about what's going on in the community. So, yes, I love that. This is pretty yeah. much a fun job, yeah. yes. And, yeah, like you said, meeting Nilvia and Jennifer and all that good stuff. Singing happy birthday in the wrong mm -hmm. key is my favorite part. <laughs> okay. And we got the best birthday people. That's my other favorite part. That's right. So, who are they, Shaviva? Hey, right off top, my granddaughter, Mynesha Washington. Hey. Darwin Yarbrough, yes. Thunderbolt Patterson, Thunderbolt. happy birthday, yes. Tylen Gadsen, hey. and Chuck Lane. Chastity Martin, my beautiful daughter. Okay, yes. Yes, yes. and Amira Davis, Jacqueline Frizzell, I remember in home ec class 100 years ago. Okay. And Latoya Roby Hill and Anthony Austin. Yes. Yes, we may not know them personally, but we know you're the best, mm -hmm. right? Without a doubt. And everybody knows how to sing this song, but I want you guys to sing really with a lot of heart today because the people that are watching you and want your job, they're watching and they want you to sing well. And since you <laughs> told everybody how you liked your job so much, somebody's watching that wants that job. <laughs> we'll sing loud. Sing loud right. so they can't That's take our it. motto. If you okay. can't sing good, sing loud. All right. and I'm sure you would agree. Couldn't fit more perfectly than to have a world party on the day you came to be. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday. Next time we're going to sing the other part too because I like it a lot. And what other part is that? That goes happy birthday. That okay, part. That part. Happy birthday. Okay. All right. So thank you guys all for watching and thank you guys for singing and going along with Shaviva's antics. Because <laughs> I'm just full of those, yes. <laughs> right, we want to remind all of our viewers to keep doing more and more and more of what makes you awesome. That's right, like Jennifer and like Nilvia. Yes. Because. Because. Oh, we got a drawing. We got a drawing for two coffee mugs before oh. we say goodbye. Okay. All right. We All got right. two Rocky and Shaviva Boom Shakalaka coffee cups. If you liked or loved anything on our page last week, your name is in here. That's right. So let's have Nilvia pull yes. one, please. Oh. Pull out a name. I might have liked something, so it better not be mine. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ashley Caldwell. All Ashley right. Caldwell. Ashley Caldwell. Okay. And we'll let Jennifer pull one. We got two cups today. Hopefully it's local, or it doesn't matter. We'll mail them. Uh, who's that? Jenny Sh Sh Schminky? Schminky? Jeannie Jeannie Schminky. Schminky. I think you wrote, yeah. You should be, that's should be was writing. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. writing. Well, Jeannie. my my writing is we terrible, will so. find you. Congratulations. Yes, Ashley and Jeannie. Thank right. you. Congratulations. And 
Keep doing more of what makes you awesome. Because it, it makes, makes us all look, look good. good. <laughs> and remember, if it's Friday, it's, it's North, North End, End Update. Day. See you, you next time. See you next week.